So, just a quick tip for you guys. While I am heavily working on the fair lady's bodywork here, you can see there's panels over here. Everything's being stripped back and epoxy primed and, you know, there's lots and lots of rubbing down going on. Everything's being rubbed down and reprimed and rubbed down and all with uh, big fancy blocks, you know, like a ton of block work on this thing. But anyway, I've got to a point over here where I'd like to remove all the stain guard on this side. I've already done the other side, as you know, because I replaced the sill over there. But I thought I'd just give you guys a quick tip on how to get rid of the factory stain guard on the Z32, as it can be very, very hard to do. Now, there are quite a few ways to do it. You can try and mechanically abrade it, which does work but it's quite slow i'll just give you a quick demo and on what i'm using here is a 50 mil uh strip disc on a uh, on an on a 90 degree die grinder now this is probably the best way that i've worked out how to do it mechanically in in this fashion i've used a wizard with 80 grit sandpaper and stuff on it it's just too slow it does do it eventually but it's just ridiculously painfully slow so I'll give you a quick demo of the second best method of removing it. So as I say, 90 degree air die grinder, 50 mil, one of these guys. And they do do it reasonably well, but it is pretty slow and it's pretty messy. I'll give you a quick demo. <laughs> And that's the result just there, guys. As you can see, it does the job, but it's pretty slow. And the main reason is, is because this stuff is basically like rubber that's been sprayed on there. You're basically just kind of tearing it apart. It's forming like little balls and rolling up on itself. It's very hard for anything mechanical to, uh, to remove it. But as you can see here, I have got quite a bit removed. The whole bottom of that door's done. This section here, and that only took me a matter of minutes to do in a method that I'll just uh, show you in a second. And the reason I'm doing this, even though this is all being covered up with my Twin Z stuff, is because I'm just not happy not knowing what's underneath all this stone guard. Most of it appears to be factory, but there are a few little spots where it's got little blobs on it here and there. You probably can't tell, but there's a little spot there where the finish has been uh, disrupted by something so there could be a small repair under that or it just could be some crap that's been smeared over the top I had the same thing on the door there were a few spots where it looked like it had, had filler over the top but it turned out just to be stuff sitting sort of on top that's been spilt on there and then painted over or whatever but as I say uh, every part of the fair lady's been gone over to make sure that there is no uh, damage or rust or anything under any of the bodywork and uh, this is one of the last things that I have to do is to um, is to strip all the stone guard off this side. Uh, bumpers are already done. Uh, that guy out there, you can see it's kind of done. Different scenario doing the bumpers though, guys. Uh, the stone guard pattern that's on the bumpers is actually moulded into them. So you can't actually strip that off. You actually have to sand it out because it is part of the plastic on the bumper. And uh, then you just, uh, you know, prime it with high fill primer and epoxies and stuff like that over the top, rub it out, prime it, you know, all that kind of thing to get rid of it in that way. But as I say on here, you can see you've just got black e-coat underneath it. Uh, it's been put on from the factory. They obviously spray this rubbery crap on there first and then paint over it. So anyhow, this is the way that I've found to get rid of this stuff quickest and easiest. Get yourself a nice sharp chisel. This guy here, I don't know, maybe... 12 mil or something like that reasonably sharp doesn't have to be razor sharp as you can see i'm doing that with my finger so it's not razor sharp but it's not totally blunt either and the reason that's kind of a good thing to have is just to stop it digging into the panel you can always uh, just knock the corners off it if you're a little bit concerned about that as well but the best way is to just use a sharp woodworking chisel and just peel this shit off so i'll give you a demo and this is what i'm talking about Look at that, guys. You just start working along 
in sections as big as your chisel. Part of the reason I'm only using a 10mm chisel, not a 20 or a 25, is it's just nice and easy to push through that much of this stone guard, whereas it would be a lot harder with a wider blade to push through that much more of it. Like that, as you can see, it just peels away straight down to the e-coat. As I say, this is an area where there was some stuff sitting on top of it, like there could have been a repair under there. But as you can see, there's nothing. It's all factory and all mint. So that's all you do, guys. Get yourself a nice sharp chisel and just start peeling this crap off. Once you get all that gone, head over with your whizzer with some, you know, some 120 or some 180 or something on it. Uh, throw some epoxy primer or something over it and see if you need any repairs and bloody Bob's your uncle. 20 minutes later, guys. And it's all done. Looking very sweet for an off the chisel finish. Very happy with that. So I hope that saves some of you guys a lot of time out there. Uh, I know things like this can really, really suck if you don't really know what the best way to attack it is. And that's what it looks like now. With a couple of coats of epoxy primer on it. All looking very flash. If you like that, guys, uh, go and watch some of my other videos. You might find something else you like. All right, bloody good on ya. Cheers.